Everybody I want to fuck all those guys up. I want to be the best guy in my division. I want me to take out all the best guys so I can be undeniable. The pressure can make you, you know, stronger, can make you better, and make you overcome shit. But sometimes, you know, constantly dealing with that pressure. Constantly being that guy that you know people depend on you to go out there and represent their team. It gets tiring, I'm not lying, but it's like what I always want, it's what you always ask for. You know, it's like be careful what you ask for, you know, because once you get it, it's like you gotta be ready for it. part of the game and I've been part of the league for a while now you know just to be part of ADCC you have to be you know one of the best in the world and that's always been a dream for me just to be part of that circuit and then once I got in that circuit that's been my only goal that I haven't been able to accomplish in jiu-jitsu which is to win the ADCC gold medal and then my journey has been pretty crazy good and bad, but at the end it's like more good than bad. This jiu-jitsu journey has changed my life, you know. I know a lot of people say like, oh, you know, maybe I would have been dead, maybe yeah, I would have been doing some crazy shit. Like, I was doing some crazy shit. I was in a different world, in a different reality. And jiu-jitsu just kind of grounded me and gave me a, a way, a different way of looking at things, a healthy lifestyle. If you're a competitor, you want to be the best, you got to deal with all these different energies, all these different thoughts and all these different forces that might be working against you mentally and physically and you have to know how to overcome that regardless of the outcome, good or bad. What do you think is different? Do you think anything is different? Do you think uh, mentally, physically, your game, has anything changed? I felt like last time I competed, like I, I, I should have won. It was like no one scored, so it went to ref decision. I guess he went for a takedown, he didn't get it, but he initiated the takedown, so he probably, even though I countered it, he got that um, advantage over the over me from the ref. Like even though it's not a real advantage, it's just an like imaginary advantage, he got it. And I just didn't perform, I didn't do what I was supposed to do. I just, I didn't push myself, you know, I just didn't, I didn't fight for what I deserved and it slipped out of my hands. This time I'm not gonna let it slip out of my hands. I'm gonna fight for everything. If I don't win, I wanna know I didn't even win because I, I wasn't the better guy, not because I didn't fucking give it all everything I got, you know? I just wasn't there mentally and my cardio wasn't there and I feel so my cardio. My cardio's there, like no, no one could fuck with me. My energy, my firepower is there, no one could fuck with me. Riding off in the sunset with the ADCC gold around my neck. I, I wouldn't mind retiring right there. You know, I wouldn't mind not caring about competition anymore. But if I don't win ADCC, like, what do I do? Do I stay stuck? You know, because I never accomplish everything I wanted, or do I move on and just continue my journey and maybe try again, or do I just, you know, just it wasn't meant to be? And you know, I tried hard and I enjoyed the journey, and the journey got me to a high place and put me in a you know, a good platform where people could appreciate my jiu-jitsu, so 
I got a lot out of it, but you know, didn't get you know the that golden ticket that I wanted, you know, and and who knows, you know, maybe I will, maybe I won't, but for me, like, is enjoying the journey. I think the journey itself is what's all about.